Right, so I'm no expert, but from what I've seen in the past, that is a massive, massive crop. As you can see, I've just come across mounds and mounds and mounds of the stuff. In all honesty, it looks like absolute bloody hell. Jesus! Railway land, maybe? I don't know. So I'm just taking a nice leisurely stroll down Speak Boulevard, as you do. Nah, I'm joking. So just off Speak Boulevard, one of the first major turn-offs or slip roads, which takes you down to Higher Road and then onto Hale and stuff like that. I've always been intrigued by this little sort of plot of land at the end. And uh, it was only the other day I got out of the car, had a little walk around. And there's quite a lot of uh, no dumping signs and CCTV and all that palaver. And when I've looked, at first I couldn't find nothing. And then I stumbled across, wow, what I can only describe as probably the most fly tip tyres I've ever found. I thought that place in town was bad, but geez, this place is bad. Don't know where they've come from. Could it be from Jaguar, Land Rover, or from someone else just dumping them there? Um, so yeah, I thought, you know what? Here's a random ladder as well. Yeah, so this slip road now takes you down to Higher Road. And just on the corner, I said I'm gonna hop over this fence. Now it says land owned by a Jaguar Land Rover, but um, this little fence you can see just there. And then you've got that fence down there. So that fence is the Jaguar boundary. And this fence is just like for decoration. So uh, I have found a way in as well. Now, I think there's a hole at the end, which I've seen like sort of briefly. And I think that will take me onto Jag's land and then possibly onto the railway. The railway which connects to the factory and that's how they get the cars shipped out so anyway without further ado let's crack on with this uh, mooch right so we're just coming down the slip road now uh jaguar lands over is just beyond all this crap and uh, as i say this is where i come to the day i just walked up had a little look and uh, i couldn't find on the first and i was like uh oh, you know this this is going to be one of those explores where like I'm going to find nothing, I'm not going to post it because there's quite a lot I actually do when I actually don't post to be honest with you. And uh, if I can just find a little gap now where I was the other day, because uh, it's quite interesting, quite a notorious dumping grounds apparently. And as I've sort of looked down, um, you can't see nothing there. Oh yeah, there we go. So yeah, on my way. I found all them. I mean, that's not the only, you know, lot of tyres. There's quite a lot more as well. So we're just approaching the end now. And then when we get to the end, I'm going to hop over this little fence. I'm going to take it on this journey. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get past them because it looks like a bit of a Krypton factor, to be honest with you. And there's more down there, which you can't see. So yeah, we'll get to the end. Yeah, there's a few there as well. But when I say a few, I mean quite a bloody lot. So we'll get to the end now, we'll jump over. So here's one of the first signs you come to. CCTV in operation, uh, no fly tipping, littering or dog fouling. Now it's www.nosley.gov.uk. So technically we are not in Liverpool. But we all know we are, so there's someone probably going to jump in the comments and say, you're not in Liverpool, mate. But yeah, unfortunately, yeah, uh, we are. Right, and in we go. Oof. Right, so I've noticed this little hole here. That could be potential, a potential way in later on. As I say, I had no intention of really, you know, climbing any major fences. Uh, when I seen this, I thought, well, let's, uh, let's do a bit of filming. So we've got a few just here. And some uh, plastic tubs as well. What is that anyway? Um, oh, it's something to do with growing. I think, possibly... This could be all the remains of a bit of a bit of a weed farm as well. 
So, yeah, there's a few here. As I say, there's not really, not much to shout about, like, but, you know, it's still, uh, still significant and it's still interesting. So, we're just going to plod on. Yeah, I think that looks like, yeah, this is all, this is all weed stuff, this. As in, like, when I say weed stuff, I mean, cannabis. Yeah, all that stuff to grow it. And then you got your mixture and all that, whatever. So, right, let's plod on. Whew. Just fix that microphone because it's going to fall off. Ooh. Right, we're out in the open here. Don't know how I'm going to negotiate this, but freaking hell, let's get in here before I get seen. Or can we? Yeah, we can. Well, that was a bloody entrance, George. Stepped on something. I just completely fell through it. Wow. Just check I've still got everything. These bloody brambles. Oh, flipping heck. Right, are we in? Are we in? Push through, push through, push through. Freaking hell. My word. We are in. Right, so there's the first lot I've come to, which is a significant haul. And it just makes you wonder, where the hell did this come from? And who the hell tipped all this? You know, it's gotta be. I, well, originally, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was Jaguar Land Rover, but I don't think in all honesty, they'd be so stupid as to do something like that. So yeah, um, there's quite a few mounds I can find as well. Just gonna check I've got everything I've lost, not before I carry on. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna try and negotiate this somehow. It's a bit of a Krypton factor, should we say? So I think I can do it. I've had worse. These are quite slippy as well. If I drop anything in these, I will not be getting it back. So carefully does it, carefully does it. They are full, they're full of moss. So they are quite slippy. Oh, bloody hell. So I'm gonna have to touch it. I've got wipes in the car. Oh, right, we see some bin bags here. And this looks like the remains of someone's crop grow material. Oh yeah, that is definitely, definitely crop grow material, that. Look, bin bags full of stuff just dumped over the edge so let me see what is this mixed high mixed hydra mixed hydro ponic substrate right so I'm not an expert but from what I've seen in the past that is a massive massive crop that's being grown obviously the liquid to make it grow faster and then you've got the substrate as well which it sits in so very interesting I've, I've come across these in the past as you know they're no sort of a it's no breaking news like I've seen it loads of times as you can just see there just mounds of these friggin tires that's a watch me microphone doesn't fall off so more crop growing stuff in the distance. Um, gonna have to see if I can use this fence. Yeah. Oh. Oops. Oops, that's a bit, whoops. Shit, they're all collapsing. Oh, freaking hell. They are, they're all slipping. Mm. Shit. Oh. Bloody hell. And when you do something, like I've mentioned in the past, and you think to yourself, this wasn't a good idea. Absolutely was not a good idea. Oh, these are worse. And the last lot, the sink, I'm sinking, I'm sinking. Whew. Right, I spin that round. There's more grow material. And there's loads and loads and loads and loads of tyres. Now I'm guessing possibly hundreds 
I don't know. I'm not going to stand here and count them all like. So I'm going to try and plod on without falling through the middle. Oops. Oh, shit. Yeah, Hydro Coco 6040. I'm sure if you Google that, that will come up as a major player in the cannabis growing industry. Now look at that one there. Runway Enduro HT. Never seen that one before. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, freaking hell. Oh, whoops, oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Bad idea, George. Bad idea. Oh, shit, man. I've got walking boots on. I've got my shitty owl jeans on. I've got wipes and cleaning stuff in the car. I just couldn't carry it all, so... Yeah, this is a bad... Oops! Oh, shit. Shit. It's a good year there. So watch out as well. People actually do use this to to uh, do go with the business. So right, I'm on. I'm, I'm oof. more growing stuff, and then again more tires. As you can see, I've just come across mounds and mounds and mounds of the stuff. So. It wouldn't be an adventure if we didn't plough on. Now, I'm literally, I'll just show you where my feet are. So I've got to literally step over these tyres. Oops. Like so. Oop, now that one's crumbling. The worst part as well is most of them are full of water. So you can just see there, they're all You've got little pools of water in them so when you're stepping them you do get your feet wet slightly oh that's full oh. jesus <sighs> freaking hell right so i'm gonna have to get down the bottom here <sighs> fucking hell oh my god so i'm gonna lose my microphone and possibly no they're all secure right i'm gonna have to get down here now oh. right i think now is the time to have a little drink and what better way to do it than helen foods 49 pence prime oh lemon and lime cheers oh beautiful although it was cold I left the house and now it's quite it's not warm but it's not cold bit in the middle should we say so yeah we're gonna plow on and just show you these tires just there i think the best way to attack this now is probably on the ground and then just hop over a few of them rather than try and get freaking hell he says oh no Oh, that looks like bloody hell, that. Absolute hell to get through. <sighs> I mean, in all honesty, before when I was doing the intro, I did find a way sort of down. That was a lot easier, but the road was too busy. And I don't really want people to see me getting in down here. And the good thing is as well, up to now, I have come across zero rats. Just looking at it before, I thought, it's gonna be riddled with rats, but no, I don't think I'm going to get through, in all honesty. It looks like absolute bloody hell. Absolute hell. Right, so the worst part about this is I've got nothing to hold on to, literally nothing to hold on to. So I might, I might. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to try my luck. And if not, I'm going to have to go back up this path. And shit, right. 
it's stand up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. You can just see more there in the distance. So I'm gonna try and now get through all this. Oof. Oh. Shit, that is the last thing I wanted to see. It was a hornet. It was a bloody hornet. It's gone in there. I only bloody hope it's not building a nest. Because if I step on that, it's game over. So I'm gonna have to try and get down here. So what I might do is plod on and then see if I can get up and out at this way rather than come back. But um, yeah, it's very, very, really uneven this part now it's one of my biggest fears coming somewhere like this especially in summer is uh, you've got nowhere to go nowhere to run and if you potentially step on a hornet's nest you are in deep deep shite i'm telling you so oh, i'm gonna have to just take my chance on this if i fall if i fall like i'm falling i'm falling sort of Fallen, sort of fallen. Jesus Christ. Let's get past that bloody hornet's nest. Wow. I didn't realise it'd be so friggin' hard this. Right, here we go. A bit of normal land maybe. Oh, man. No, it's not, it just goes down. Get over the fence. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell. Right. I think. Ow! I just bloody touched the metal. Oh, I'm not a metal. That bloody thing there. Right. Compose yourself. Ask yourself a question. Do you require more prime? And the answer is yes. Let's get the prime out. Have I mentioned that this is now 49 pence in Heaven Foods? Oh, cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Right, now this. This is quite a high mound. So the floor is, is this one here. <laughs> so there's potential here to get stuck if I do slip down one of these things. But all compacted together, to be fair, they're all quite, um, all quite solid in, in all honesty, like. There we go. Now I've got nothing again to hold on to. So this is gonna have to be taken very, very slowly. I'm sure that's the last mound here. I hope anyway, because <sighs> although we're in May and it's quite warm, Today's a uh, sunny but broken cloud. Whoa. I mean, look at all that. Who the hell dumped all this? All these, I should say. Right, Krypton Factor. Oh. Where's Gordon Baines when you need them? Is it Gordon Baines? So we have George from Liverpool who says he can negotiate hundreds of discarded tires in less than one minute. Oof. Away you go, George. Oh. Jesus. Wow. I went to grab that and slipped. Oof. Wow. Oh, no way. No way. I knew that was gonna be a tough one. There's a way in there if you wanna Get into Jaguar Land Rover. Whew. Wow, starts to compose myself a minute. Right, we're gonna come down now. <sighs> Bloody hell. <sighs> Whoop. Bad idea this. Really bad idea.
One thing I haven't, uh, well, there's one thing I haven't noticed is this supposed CCTV which is around here. I mean, if there was, I'm pretty sure whoever, is it Nosley Council responsible for this land? I don't think it's Jaguar Land Rover. Because there's the boundary fence just there. So I assume it's Nosley Council. So if Nosley Council do ever get to see this video, um, you've got your way cut out, I'm telling you. Absolutely ridiculous, this. A little bit of normality. <sighs> Jesus Christ. There's another man there. And that's the one I've just had to bloody negotiate. Look at that. So it's goodbye from that. And it's hello to this one. I think, I think this is the last mound. So there's just some nettles to negotiate now. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get up on top. I'm just gonna walk back down that path. I am not putting myself through that again. That is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So we've just got an area now, which is quite clear. And as we look in there, there's a massive hole in the fence. And that leads you on to Jaguar Lands Rover. Oh yeah, I've got a few more ties here as well. Some there with all stuff growing over them. So they've clearly been here for a while, as you can see. Probably one of the easiest ones I've negotiated so far. For the mimic. Right, I think. Uh, I honestly think I'm done for this now because. <coughs> what the hell? Fly in my mouth. <coughs> I mean, once you've seen one tyre, you've probably seen them all. So, yeah, there we go. With a massive hole in the fence there. So that's Jaguar Land Rover's land. Now that looks a bit of a ball like to negotiate. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably wait until I get to the end and um, I'm gonna see if I can get in and just maybe access the railway, I don't know. Because they do keep a, uh, they do keep some... Oh, I'm not getting through that. There's no way I am getting through that. They do keep some, uh, what do you call them? Rolling stock for the cars. Just sort of parked. Out the way, just ready to get used. So I'm going to... I'm going to call it a day here. Because I think, in all honesty, that's it for the tyres, I think. Um, there's no way I'm getting through that. So I'm going to have to get up the top here. Back onto this, like, slip road. So just in for reference, that's where I came down before and that's where it takes you. So, what a bloody mission, that's all I can say. So, right, so I'm going to end this here and I'm going to probably meet us again back up on top. Let's get over this fence. There we go. And we're out. We are out. Oh, I'm state of my head. Let's just double check, I haven't missed no tyres. Quick microphone check. Yep, she's still there. Wow. Yeah, there's probably more down there, but um, no. I'm gonna call it a day there, I think. I come the right way. Yeah. So this is the area of land. Oh which I've always been intrigued by. Now, I don't know how far I'm going to get, but we're going to have a little look anyway. Still, I cannot see any CCTV cameras, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. Are there any hidden ones anywhere or whatnot? I don't know. If I do see one, I'll probably get off because it's probably linked to like a central control thing in Jag. But, uh, I mean, how cool is this? This is like, this is like a forgotten wood. It's like proper, like, I never expected this. 
And there's something over there as well. What's that? This is actually pretty cool, to be honest with you. I never expected this to be so... It's quite nice. Oh yeah, look at this. What is that? Like some sort of concrete support. That's weird. This looks like there's another one there all overgrown. Yeah, there's another one here. This is quite nice, I've got to be honest with you. Another one there. And this thing here as well. There's all the empty spray cans as well. And all the tops. That looks old. So I'm just going to see how far I can actually get because we're actually approaching the railway line. I mean, look at this. Just look at it. It's literally like a forgotten wood. It is proper nuts. Is that rain? No. Oh, is that a lake as well? Wow. Well, when I say lake, I mean a pond. We must be getting close to the railway line now, surely to God. Wow. I'll just be careful as well, because sometimes, um, just as you come down this slip road, off higher road, there's a, there's a gate, that's where Network Rail go. There's always someone parked there as well. Because that's like you've got like the run corner line, the main line, the goods line, and then it branches off then it goes directly into Jaggy Balan's over. I've got to be a bit quiet because I think now I'm actually on railway land, maybe? I don't know. What have we got here? Here's the gate. Shit. Shit. I have just seen a guy in an orange hises from Network Rail, so that one unfortunately is going to be deemed a bye-bye for now and possibly, possibly a part two. I just could not be arsed pushing it, going up, possibly speaking to him and he basically says no, because if he does phone the police it is a thousand pound an unnecessary call out so I'm going to get out here pretty sharpish and I'll catch you all up in a minute oh safety work this a bit more prime needed oh do you know what I've actually lost me burn I think oh yeah slip nose just here right so I'm going to get out now anyway I'll catch up here on the outside right so we are out so that way is hail, that's the slip road you come off. This way is hail wood, and that's where I've just been there. And there's another sign there. Yeah, it does say, no the council on it. Private property, no trespassing, Jaggy Bell Land Rover. This is quite interesting as well. I've just seen, what's, what does this say here? Van del 
Mm. Uh, Anti-climb paint. So I should imagine that was some part of the old whatever before they put this one in as well. And there's those gates I've just seen there. So that's where I walk down. Seen that fella from Network Rail. So just coming up now onto the bridge. And you can just see him there. He's the guy I've seen before. And in all honesty, I just could not be bothered getting involved in that. What are you doing here? So uh, every time you go past there, there's always a van or a car in there. So I went past before and there's no one there. So obviously there's someone there all the time. Right, just for reference, just before I go, I'll just show you across here. So then just over there, that's all the road in Stockford Jag. And then this here is like the goods line and the main line. And all that over there is all like, just what's uh, so that goes into Jag there. So if you get across this land, which I think skates it off actually, so I know actually, no, it's not. So that will take you right into Jaguar Land Rover. Jaguar Land Rover, I mean. And, uh, yeah, just thought I'd show you before I go. Right, that's your lot. I am absolutely 100% tired. Yeah, I know, it was a bad joke. But yeah, I didn't expect to see so many tyres. I know there's quite a lot there, but yeah, it is what it is. If Nosley Council are watching, please get your act together and they're going to clean that mess up. Uh, the little forest there was a bit of a side quest as well. So I've been in there and I know what it's like now. And it does lead onto this uh, train track. So you've got like Runcorn, London, uh, main line. You've got a goods line going into Garston Docks. And as I say, you've got one that just branches off into Jag solely for the... Uh, Solely for them, um, so I'm beating my head on what wasn't Solely for just transporting the cars. So yeah, I'm sweating, I'm hungry, I'm a bit dirty, <clears throat> I'm thirsty because I drank all my prime. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.